You do not serve Gandhi. You serve us. I do not you serve us. You don't serve us. The institution. You don't serve us. I serve the You police, you should be arresting Antifa. They're the ones that attacked him. What are you cowards doing arresting this guy? You, you are abusing their power. You're in a position. You're in a position of authority where you're supposed to respect them. You're Let me ask you this. Do you see any students here from Western Canada High School? Do you see any students from Western Canada High School? Because you're not Western Canada High School. No, actually, I'm on the sidewalk. Anybody here from Western Canada High School? I'm on the sidewalk. Anyone? I'm on the sidewalk. Any students here? So to make things clear, you're here. In front of a school where you have nobody from this school participating with you. No, you don't know. That. That's weird. Don't know that. That's a weird thing to do. Weird thing to do. It so, is so you're going to let people doing weird things. That's not cool. That's not very nice. That's kind of sick as Alex Dolly Wolf with Rebel News, reporting to you live from Western High School in downtown Calgary, where we are covering a very contentious protest between advocates of the LGBTQ community as well as opponents of a inclusive transgender bathroom policy. Earlier in today, we saw Josh Alexander, a former student of St. Joseph Catholic School in Ontario, arrested by Calgary police officers after a physical altercation broke out. Now, we have yet to see uh, the whereabouts of Josh Alexander at this time, but as you can see behind me, uh, police have divided the protesters between advocates of the LGBTQ community as well as those opposed to transgender bathroom policies. Josh Alexander, a student from St. Joseph's Catholic High School in Ontario, came to Calgary, Alberta earlier this week as part of an international walkout protest demanding that all schools ban biological males from using female restrooms and change rooms. The protest, in cahoots with Liberty Coalition Canada, encouraged students, faculty, and parents to come together in a peaceful exchange of ideas. Now, Alexander received a lengthy suspension last November after he organized a protest against biological men using female restrooms. He also received an extended exclusion from school in January for the remainder of the academic year. In an interview with the Epoch Times earlier this year, school administrators informed Alexander that his presence would be, quote, detrimental to the physical and mental well-being, end quote, of transgender students. But Alexander clarified with school staff, confirming and committing that he would not intentionally engage or start conflicts with transgender students, but he told them he would remain committed to expressing his beliefs peacefully. In the same interview, he says, and I quote, Offense is defined by the offended. I expressed my religious beliefs in class and it spiraled out of control. Not everybody's going to like that. That doesn't make me a bully. He goes on to say, It doesn't mean I'm harassing anybody. They express their beliefs and I express mine. Mine just don't fit the narrative. Now, the pro international walkout protest occurred in front of Western Canada High School on May 17th at 10 a.m. And this coincides with the International Day Against Homophobia, Transphobia, and Biphobia. I was in Ontario a few days ago and uh, I met Josh Alexander, an amazing young man, and I decided I gotta bring him to Alberta. I gotta bring him to Alberta and sort of bring that fiery youth energy uh, and, and this passion for, for the future generation. So we decided to bring him, uh, I, I decided to bring him out here. And uh, well, today is an international walkout. So students that have enough of biological males using females change rooms and this radical gender ideology and people who disagree that Josh Alexander was targeted and uh, are arrested and suspended from school just for saying that there's two genders that biology exists uh, so I decided well I'm gonna stand with him and we're gonna we're gonna go to a high school in Calgary yeah. we took a poll and uh, Western Canada high school was uh, decided upon mm -hmm. apparently a lot of people in that school wanted us to come out so uh, we decided we were gonna come here today. My name's uh, Josh Alexander. I'm a, a grade 11 student from Ontario, and uh, I'm a student activist uh, after being uh, arrested at my Catholic high school for returning to school after being kicked out for expressing my beliefs. Some female students approached me uh, 
early on in my year there. I'd been out of school for maybe two months, um, and they informed me that males were using the female washrooms, and uh, they were concerned about this. So I decided to uh, speak out against that. Um, I used some scripture to uh, defend basic biology. And uh, anyways, long story short, I got uh, suspended, excluded, given a trespassing notice. And then when all of that was over, and I was scheduled to return, um, they just decided to switch things up and say I was kicked out for the remainder of the year. So it was at that point that I decided to attend class, and uh, I was eventually arrested by the Ontario Provincial Police. Today is the May 17th, the international walkout organized by Liberty College in Canada, and I decided to attend Western Canada here.
sit, sit. I got it, I got it. And they're arresting him. You police, you, you should be know. arresting Antifa. They're the ones that attacked him. What are you cowards doing arresting this guy? Josh, do you have anything to say about this? Yeah. Say, it, say it, just say it. Hey guys, Jesus saves, he loves you. Go get a Bible, I've got Bibles for you over there. About three minutes into my time there, we had all been assaulted, I think. Um, and uh, I was offering students Bibles and some police officers walked up. They just grabbed me from behind and I already felt my hands behind my back. And uh, anyways, they ended up uh, arresting me. Well, apparently I was only detained, but I was ended, I got put in a paddy wagon. Um, and uh, they informed me that I wasn't being charged, but obviously they said I was an inflammatory individual. Um, not because of my actions, the witnesses proved that I was peaceful and I had my hands in the air the entire time. Um, but they said just my presence is inflammatory, so if I were to return, I would uh, I would be arrested and charged with disturbing the peace. Do you actually expect people to respect the badge anymore? Do you oh, trust you respect hey, it with your you attitude or approach hey, to other people? Hey, no, 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 no. This is what happened. Hatred. Yelling, I have hatred. You're I have hatred. To other I'm sorry. Are you supposed well? to be a public sermon that's neutral here to protect the peace? No. You're protecting people that are violent. We have on camera of them assaulting us because we're trying to use the side buckle on the road and just go here to our event. I'm going to tell you to back up a little bit here, unless you can lower your voice volume. You are a disgrace. You're a disgrace to your badge. You know that, sir? Absolute disgrace. You spit on the badge. Tell Nufel that he is Himmler. He is an SS Gestapo mafia boss. Right. So you got your you, sound bite. Congratulations. No, no. You can no take it's not about sound bites. It's about you respecting the law. So this is also about you respecting other individuals. No, not, not the corrupt mayor, Nufel. So if you continue to interrupt, then I'm done talking. Not the corrupt mayor. Not Gondek. Not, not Gondek. You don't serve Gondek. You do not serve Gondek. You serve us. I do not serve you. Serve us. You don't serve us. the institution. You don't serve us. Ah, there you go. So yeah, the right. So you serve the the us, the not us, not the taxpayer, is, is not, the taxpayer. Not, the not the average person. Is that her not position? the average person? She's she been assaulted by violent Antifa. My property was broken. What property? My flag. My flag Where was broken. Flag? In flag. Well, it's on camera. It's on camera. Where's taken and ripped up. It's been ripped up and taken. Where is it? We were. We were also. We don't know. We just pushed our speakers, our expensive sound equipment, onto the ground off the sidewalk because you're abusing your power. I don't know, maybe you were bullied in high school. What, what's going on? You're abusing so, your power. We're here to keep the peace today. You're, you're, you're doing a great job. You, you have, have to separate yourself from the other crowd. We were trying to do that, and you're failing at your job, and you're just arresting a 17-year-old kid. You just arrested a 17-year-old kid. I have arrested nobody. The, the, police, the institution, the institution okay. arrested 17 year old Thank you for being a little more clear. You're shaking, are you okay? Do you need some medical help? I'm a little angry today. You see that, you're enjoying this. You're enjoying it. Remember, one day, one day you're going to be judged. One day you're going to be judged. Not by me, not by me, oh, I but by God. By, you. by God, you're going to be judged for everything that you're doing. Do you understand that? Do you understand that? Hell is real. Hell is real. And it's real for people like you who are abusing their power. You're in a position. You're in a position of authority where you're supposed to respect them. Let me ask you this. Do you see any students here from Western Canada High School? Do you see any students from Western Canada High School? Because you're not Western Canada High School. No, actually, I'm on the sidewalk. Anybody here from Western Canada High School? Anyone? I'm on the sidewalk. Any students here? So to make things clear, you're here 
in front of a school where you have nobody from this school participating with you. No, you don't know. That's weird. You don't know that. That's a weird thing to do. Weird thing to do. So, so you're going to arrest people for doing weird things. You're going to do okay, you're gonna property do lines over there. So. Get off school property. This is where your tax money goes. broke our accepting, but you only accept people who want to mutilate children, who protect pedophiles like the Calgary police over here. Thank you so much for that. Today is an international walkout because biological males are told that they are allowed to go into females' change rooms, females' bathrooms. What you're allowing for them is permeating a culture of sexual assault. That's what's happening in high schools like this. And this crowd here is so loving. In the name of tolerance, they are the most intolerant. Screaming profanity, yelling, having the police turn their backs on them, protecting them. That tells you everything. You're not police, you're a disgrace. All we wanted to do today is peacefully Peacefully. No police are back there! You are pushing this down our throats on every aspect of society, and you freak out when anyone disagrees with you. You can't even handle that someone has a different opinion than you. No one can even... You, you, you fall apart, you break apart, and someone has a different opinion. We're so loving and tolerant. I can feel the tolerance under the DSM-5 is gender dysphoria is a mental illness. It is a mental disorder, and affirming it, affirming a mental disorder, is harmful. We are angry about the fact that someone would say males should not use a female stranger. Can you imagine? We can, we can make this stuff up. I like to remind people that morality exists. Everyone has a conscience, and morality exists. Right and wrong exist. If they don't, then what are we even doing here? Why do we have law and order? Why do we have society? Consciousness, uh, conscience and morality exist. So if, if there's such a thing as right and wrong, well then we gotta figure out what's right, what's wrong. I'm a Christian, so I believe that the Bible lays the foundation for what good and evil is. God is that, uh, is that standard, that objective standard of morality. So when I'm talking to people, I say, you know, you don't have to believe in my beliefs, you don't have to be a Christian, but there's also such a thing as biology. There is male and there is female. And biological males, when they go into females' change room, there are statistics that show that females are being sexually assaulted. Actually, one woman, was, uh, one girl was telling me today at Western Canada High School, a student, she came up to me and she said, not too long ago, actually one person did sexually assault uh, a female. So this is happening. So if I can't convince them on the morality aspect, well, there's a basic truth and biology aspect to this. This is happening, this is wrong. We shouldn't have uh, males exposing their genitals in, in, in front of females. I mean, 50 years ago, you wouldn't have this argument. Why is this suddenly, you're a bigot if you disagree with males getting naked in front of females? That's mind blowing to me. You guys can call him, he spoke to his lawyer, okay. he's about to come back, okay? Wow, okay. I don't know. That's not cool, that's not very nice. It's kind of sick as fuck, bro. It's kind of fucking nice. I think there's a fire band right now. Yeah, isn't there a fire band? Oh, you just got caught! You just got caught! <laughs> 
I'm okay. I, I myself did get pushed on the streets. I felt very unsafe. I had flags up in my face. There is a fire ban right now, and somebody grabbed the Bible and lit the Bible on fire and ripped it on the ground and littered right in front of the police, and the police did nothing about it. What inspired me to come here today is that as a woman, I feel very unsafe right now. I feel unsafe going into the bathroom. I have had a full on meal going to the bathroom. I've seen him going to a stall with women. That makes me feel very uncomfortable as well. I want to protect the children. I disagree with children getting sex changes when they're so young, their brains aren't developed and they can't fully understand what they're doing or what's going to happen to their body and they could change their minds when they're older. So I have no issue with gay people, trans people, but what I do have an issue with is women and children, they need to be protected and right now they're not being protected. <laughs> Get the fuck out of here! Go the fuck away! Get out of here! Go away! Go away! Get the fuck out of here! Go away! Go away. The actions of the police and the Antifa LGBT activists is absolutely disgusting. I mean, you'll you'll see videos. I was assaulted. I was punched in the face like four times. My Canadian flag was uh, stolen, ripped up. Uh, they burnt up Bibles. They ripped up Bibles. I mean, these these are the people that, in the name of hate and tolerance, will commit acts of violence, will break the law, and the police are in enabling them. The mayor is enabling them. They are responsible for this uh, for this violence that took place. And there was a few good cops, so, so thank you to them. Uh, but for the most part, what I saw from Calgary police today, I mean, they kicked our speakers. They actually damaged our equipment. They kicked our speakers off of the curb onto a street. They pushed us onto a busy street, onto 17th Avenue, a busy, very busy street in, uh, in, in Calgary. And they said that we were the one causing problems. We didn't want the activists to come out. We came here in support of students, females that are scared, of being sexually assaulted by biological males in uh, female change rooms. Females are scared. Females have had enough of this agenda. Students, young people have had enough of this agenda and they're gonna tell you that we're in the minority. No, what I saw today was a lot of people that were in support, a lot of students nodding, giving us thumbs up, shaking, uh, shaking our hands. Uh, Josh was greeted amazingly by so many students. So people have enough of this agenda. Uh, but what we see from the government and the police is they are just per perpetuating this this gender ideology with force. Mm -hmm. It's fascism. It's a totalitarian regime what we're seeing. Pride is the reason Lucifer fell. He was a he was an angel, uh, and he fell because he became proudful. He be, he wanted what God had, and all the all the angels <laughs> fell from earth, uh, from heaven onto earth and became uh, fallen angels, demons, and pride is. Pride comes before the destruction. That's what the Bible says. Pride is an evil, dangerous thing. And uh, I mean, you see, in the name of pride, they will do the most shameless things. Um, so that's where that was at right now. I, I crossed the street and went went back and uh, people all came to where I was and we had some successful conversations. Hostile environment, but uh, I'm still pretty uh, happy with the results. There was obviously a lot of people that just have hard hearts and don't want to talk. But I, I met some people that strongly disagree with me, but they were actually open to discussion. And they ended up taking the Bibles that I handed out. So uh, hopefully we'll see the fruit of that. I honestly think it's just having a one-on-one -on -one conversation with me, away from the mainstream media and away from the social 
social media and all these rumors about me and they actually talk to me they realize I'm not there to hate on anybody I'm there to give the gospel and give the spread the truth in love and uh, hopefully start spark some change in our generation I also met a lot of supporters there um, who were being divided from me but the police were helping with that and then also the, uh, the counter protesters just being very physical and violent I know several people that got punched including myself I was choked um, there was a lot happened there in a short amount of time but uh, I, I am happy that uh, we've, we've been able to reach these students a lot of them were, seem to be very excited to see the gospel being preached outside their high school if you want to see more of our exclusive coverage on this contentious matter please click the link at protectthestudents.ca